Hello. 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 Um, it's Thursday and I'm here doing a special live segment today with a friend of mine. Her name is Jackie McDonald. Hey, Megan. Hey, Peggy. So awesome to see you. Okay, so I'm just waiting for Jackie to hop on. Um, we're doing something fun today. We are doing a bit of a inner collaboration. Hey, Jackie. Hold on. Hey, Megan. All right, let me just see here. All right, so she's on her in. Here I go. I'm going to bring her in. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me and joining Jackie. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about, hey, Jackie. Hello. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. So nice to see you. So you are really not that far away from me. You're also in Kelowna. But our circle and our draw is coming from, I think, right the way across Canada and definitely into the U.S. So I'm so happy that we could join here. I'm so excited to be here. I'm actually in Roslyn today up at a ski hill, but I, yes, one of my home bases is Kelowna and I'm so excited to introduce your community to my style of tapping and hopefully serve everyone today and helping them shift any fear that's in their bodies and just feel, feel more empowered in your voice today. Yeah. I felt really drawn to have this conversation with you because if, you know, if there's anything you know about me, I am Really, um, my circle, my message is a lot about connecting to walking your path, uh, living in divine alignment with who you are at the core of your being. And one of the cool things about EFT tapping is this ability to release fear and to release what's standing in your way between where you are right now and where you want to be. So that's mm -hmm. what we're going to do today. Absolutely. So I don't know if you're, do you know if your audience is familiar with tapping? Have you ever tapped with it? Or is this sort of a new? I haven't tapped with them. So why don't you, let's, let's start there. Let's go ahead and let me first of all just say, we're going to do a few things today. So if you're just joining us, my name's Laura Foster and this is Jackie McDonald. And she is the creator of the um, McDonald method, manifestation method to EFT tapping. Did I get that right? Got it right, yes. <laughs> That's a bit of a mouthful. And so today we're going to talk about what EFT tapping is, what tapping is. I'm going to say that. Someone thought I was talking about tapping the dance. Yeah. Definitely, I'm not doing that. Um, <laughs> we're going to talk about what's special about your method, like how you came to it, how did you come to do this work, what it's used for. Uh, and then we're going to do a live tapping, which I think is the coolest thing. And we're going to tap on releasing the fear of really standing in your truth and using your voice. So like speaking your truth. And then before I get too far, I also want to say we're also going to be introducing a free experience, a four day tapping experience that you are hosting. So, yeah, Excited that's what we're doing. For, yeah, giving me the platform to share this. My, my heart's desire is to get EFT tapping into the hands, hearts and homes of people all over the world. And so thanks to people like you, Laura, I can share this and teach people it's tapping is a self help tool that's at your fingertips. And traditionally EFT is used for trauma. So you'll if you look it up online, you'll probably find something called the tapping solution, there's documentaries on it. And they've done lots of research around working with people with PTSD, veterans, um, children from the Sandy Hook Elementary School, like survivors from mm. done that as well with tapping. And the, the thing that it's so popular about it is that it works so quickly. And it's like a blend of, um, so we're tapping like acupuncture points and therapy at the same time. So you'll get the side effect of feeling that calm relief, but you get to talk through your feelings at the same time. And when I found tapping, I always say it found me at my worst and brought me to my best. It came to me at this moment in my life where I was a new mom and I had went through a lot of loss in a short amount of time. So it was, there's about five funerals within six months and I was wow. totally like overwhelmed and um, my nervous system was in a like chronic fight or flight state. And I was desperate. I was like, I'll try anything to feel better at this point. I just... I'm so anxious all the time. And so after my first tapping session, I learned a lot about my nervous system and how our emotions affect our physical body and how I was holding on to so much fear, which I think 
a lot of us can relate to in this day and age. Like there's a lot happening in the world and sometimes those feelings get stuck in the body. So tapping really helps you move through those feelings and into a more elevated emotional state. So whether that's a state of calm and peace or excitement and joy, tapping can take you there in just a few minutes. Yeah. And you're actually really speaking my love language there. Um, I come from a background of being a chiropractor for almost 25 years. We live our life through our nervous system. Mm. Our, our experience is filtered through our nervous system. And so sometimes when we can't think our way to a solution, we need to work with our body to find a solution. So I can't honestly tell you how EFT works, but I, but I can tell you it does work. And uh, very much to do with acupuncture points, which has been around for, I mean, ever would be an understatement, right? And, yeah. um, and so the spectrum of stuff that you can use it from, I mean, you kind of touched on that, but you know, you can use it from that whole side of, of, you know, any type of trauma, of course, where mm -hmm. it's originally found it, but then you can take it to the far end of creation. Yes. And that's where my method came in because I kept, people kept telling me your style of tapping is different. Like what is it that you're doing that's different? And there's certain things that I've studied. So parts of self-work internal family systems is something that I have um, incorporated into my style of tapping. So understanding that if we are trying to go after a goal in our life and achieve something, and no matter how hard we try to take action, we're not, it's often a part of ourself, which is stored in our subconscious brain that doesn't want to. And that part of self is often a younger version of us. And so um, understanding that in tapping has made my technique different. The other part of the manifestation part is that if we can tap to release our past, we can also tap to create and practice our future. And, and most importantly, teaching our nervous systems how to memorize and become our future self. And so in my style of tapping, I teach both. I believe that we do need to work through the past and heal the things that have happened to us and um, visualize, tap into, and teach our nervous system how to become uh, our future self. So that's where yeah. my... Then. I love it. I love it. You know, I love it. That's why we're here talking. So uh, if you're just joining us now, uh, we are going to go ahead and we are one introducing you to what EFT tapping is what's specific and beautiful and magical about Jackie McDonald's technique, her take on tapping. Um, we're going to do a live tapping, which you can do alongside us. Yes. And then I want to make sure that uh, listeners are aware that they can also have a deeper experience with you, have a four, you have a four day, let's just talk about this for a moment before we get into it, in case someone can't stay for the full tapping. I've gone ahead and I posted a story with a link that they can learn more about. So if you're like, I'm interested, I love this, I gotta go pop over there, take a look at it. Um, but tell me about the four day tapping experience that you have. Yeah, so day one is gonna be all about tapping to relieve stress from your body. So we're gonna focus on where am I holding on to stress in my body? What is it about? And then we give it a number on a scale of zero to 10. How high is that? And the ratings and tapping that number on a scale of zero to 10 is really helpful because you can notice like, oh, I went from a 10 of stress and anxiety in my chest down to a four, down to a zero. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to do that day one. We're going to release stress from the body. Day two is about the science of tapping. So there's um, Dr. Peta Stapleton. She sort of leads the research in it. Uh, we're going to be sharing a lot of her information and I'm going to bring on a couple of guest experts to talk about the science of tapping. And then day three, we're going to tap into who you're becoming, right? This future version of yourself. What do you want for yourself? What do you want for the world? And use tapping mm. to any obstacles that are showing up for you right now and any emotional charge that you have around them. And then day four is all about the business of tapping. So if you're like, you know, I'm here to serve and help others. I want to, you know, help other people move through these times, move through the challenges that they have in the world, but I don't know how tapping is an incredible opportunity to bring that into your business to serve other people with. And we'll talk about that on day four. I love it. So that's January 24th through 27th. It's also, I want to just let everyone know it's a free experience. So all of that is a free experience, which by the way, is super awesome because right now, just you mentioned it, but it went flying by now more than ever. Um, you know, I really deeply feel the pain of everyone right now to different degrees, but there's this really this, how can we support ourselves 
and um, do something really tangible and by the way, accessible for everyone. Not everyone has the ability, the time, the resources, the support to really receive what they really need in the world right now. And this is something you can do. This is something you can do in real time. So why don't we go ahead and get started on what we're gonna tap on today. And then I really encourage you, like even if you don't even know what we're saying and you're gonna be doing it and you're like, what are we doing? Don't worry about it, just, just do it. Just go with it. You're, wel you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I always say, um, it's better experienced than explained anyway. So let's dive in. Um, so the question I always ask when we first get tapping is what is it that you really want? And I feel like what I heard you say is you want to, you want, you want peace for the world probably is like the big thing, but I'll let you answer that, Laura. What is it that you really want and what do you feel is stopping you? Okay. So we're talking me, right? Yeah. So, my, yeah. My, so yeah. anyone who's doing this, you're going to do this for yourself. So, yeah. um, I, I really want to release fear around judgment of speaking my truth. So, you know, whether or not people are judging me, of course, there's a certain amount of um, energy and emotion, consciously and subconsciously, that's connected to, you know, what that would mean if I was judged around speaking my truth. So I want to reduce that as okay. much as I can. Perfect. So um, I'll invite everyone, we're going to do this together. So as long as you're not driving, you're going to go ahead and close your eyes and take a nice, gentle breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. I want you to visualize just for this moment to set aside whatever you were doing before this and whatever you're going to after this. I want you to just notice in your body where you hold on to this fear of judgment from others and how high is it on a scale of zero to 10? And Laura, I'll let you share and everyone that's listening, you can share in the comments, you know, share where you feel it in your body and how high is it on a scale of zero to 10? So I feel it right across my chest, right, right from the heart space. And mine's about a five. About a five. Okay. So on the four day free tapping training, I'm going to teach you more about these numbers. So some people might be an eight, some people might be a four. There's, you know, everyone's different. Um, on the four day free training, I'll teach you, like, if you're between a 10 and an eight, it's what we call a venting stage of tapping. It means like, you just if you're afraid, you're, you're stressed and you need to get that out. And so we tap through and, and say all the reasons that you're afraid and all the reasons that you're worried and just say them. If you're between a six and a four, so Laura, you're at a five, you're like, I, I feel this fear, but I'm ready to let it go. So we know like, okay, the, the languaging is going to change when we tap. I'm ready to, I feel this way, but I want to move past it. And then if your number's between a three and a zero, it means that your subconscious brain is actually prepped and primed for an affirmation. So you could say something like, I stand firmly in my truth and powerfully use my voice. You could say that with conviction and have no resistance in your body. So that's just, I wanted to just do a little teaching there, depending on where your number is, depends which kind of tapping you kind of need. But for right now, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. And it's like a game of Simon Says. Oh, did you want to share something? I definitely want to say something. As soon as you said that, I was like, no, no, I, that's me. I'm there. Like, I'm at that place where I'm like, I have that in me. So, you know, I don't. Mm -hmm. So we can go either way. Okay. He sounds good. I okay. think this is the cool thing with checking in with our body. Because our, in our, our mind or heart, we might be like, I'm so ready to do that. But our body might have a bit of fear. And so the tapping allows us to release the fear from the body, if that makes sense. Okay. So I'm going to tap on Say Something, and you and Laura are going to tap and copy me. These are acupuncture points that we're tapping on. And it doesn't matter which hand you do it. Either hand is fine. We're going to start on the side of the hand, and then we're going to move to the face and body. So we'll say, um, even though I have this fear, even though I have this fear of using my voice, of using my voice and people judging me and people judging me, 
I love and accept myself anyway. I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I feel this fear in my body. Even though I feel this fear in my body. This fear of being judged for using my voice. This fear of being judged for using my voice. I love and accept myself anyway. I love and accept myself anyway. Especially because my opinion is different from others. Especially because my opinion is different from others. Sometimes I get judged. Sometimes I get judged. That feels uncomfortable in my body. That feels uncomfortable in my body. But I love and accept myself anyway. But I love and accept myself anyway. Good job. We're going to tap on the top of the head and say this fear that I've been holding on to. This fear that I've been holding on to. Tapping on the eyebrow point. This fear of being judged for speaking my truth. This fear of being judged for speaking my truth. Side of the eye. I can feel it in my chest. I can feel it in my chest. Tapping underneath the eye. I'm afraid to piss people off. I'm afraid to piss people off. Underneath the nose. I'm afraid to be different. I'm afraid to be different. Underneath the mouth. I'm afraid to be talked about. I'm afraid to be talked about. Collarbone point behind my back. Behind my back. Tapping underneath the arms, kind of where your bra strap would yeah. end. This fear, I can feel it in my body. This fear, I can feel it in my body. Tapping underneath the chest. And I'd like to begin letting it go. And I'd like to begin letting it go. Good job tapping on the wrist. This fear of being judged for speaking my truth. This fear of being judged for speaking my truth. Tapping on the top of the head. I'd like to begin letting it go. I'd like to begin letting it go. All right. So when you're ready, take a nice deep breath. Close your eyes, tune back into your body. Notice where that fear of being judged for speaking your truth. Notice where that was in your body and how high is it now on a scale of zero to 10? Three. Awesome. So that went down. And did anything surface for you, Laura, in that round? Oh, just uh, like a resounding, like, yes. Like, I love that you intuitively just went with it, even though I wanted to change where I was starting from. I'm like, that's the subconscious. Yes. Like, yes. My head was bobbing there. Did you see that? Yeah. I, I was like, yeah. Right. right? Yeah. And so um, I know you're probably aware of this too, but our body is the subconscious mind. There's a great book by Candace Pert that explains our body is a subconscious mind. So consciously we can want and feel something, but subconsciously it doesn't feel safe yet. It doesn't feel safe to speak our truth and it could, and it's going to be different for each of us. Maybe there's one particular person that stands out or a group or situation that comes to mind that we maybe have trauma around. Maybe we tried speaking our truth as a kid and that didn't go well. So as adults, when we try speaking our truth, it's like, it doesn't feel good. And so tapping can help you release that. Um, so I'm curious for everyone listening in, did you feel a shift and you close your eyes and check in this fear of judgment around speaking your truth, um, whatever number you started with and wherever it was in your body, just notice if it has shifted or stayed the same or went up. We're going to do another round. Does that sound good? Yeah, perfect. Let's tap again on the side of the hand and say, um, even though I've been afraid, even though I've been afraid of being judged for speaking my truth, of being judged for speaking my truth. I'm ready to start letting that go. I'm ready to start letting that go. Even though I can feel it in my body. Even though I can feel it in my body. This fear I've been holding on to. This fear I've been holding on to. I'm ready to start letting it go. I'm ready to start letting it go. Even though I've held back. Even though I've held back. Because I don't want to ruffle any feathers. Because I don't want to ruffle any feathers. I forgive myself for doing that now. I forgive myself for doing that now. I am worthy of being heard today. I am worthy of being heard today. Top of the head. I've been afraid to ruffle feathers. I've been afraid to ruffle feathers. Real point. I've been afraid to piss people off. I've been afraid to piss people off. That I've been afraid to be judged by my family and friends. 
I've been afraid to be judged by my family and friends. Underneath I, but I'm ready to let this fear go. But I'm ready to let this fear go. Underneath the nose. It's time for me to release this today. It's time for me to release this today. Tapping underneath the mouth. I have something to say. I have something to say. Collarbone point. My voice matters. My voice matters. Underneath the arms. My opinion matters. My opinion matters. Underneath the chest. And I am tired of being quiet. And I am tired of being quiet. Tapping on the wrist. So today I give myself permission. So today I give myself permission. Top of the head to release this fear. To release this fear. Eyebrow point and to start using my voice. And to start using my voice. Good. So just like Laura's doing, close your eyes, tune back in. Notice uh, your body, this fear of being judged for speaking your truth. Where was that fear in your body and what number is it now? For me, it was, yeah, it started at a five, went to a three, and now it's at a one, right through my chest. And are you feeling a different energy start to rise up in your body? Oh, oh yeah. Like, I'm just like, fuck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm like, I'm like, get off here. I got things to do. <laughs> yes. So this is so cool, right? Because mm -hmm. this. I talked about your subconscious brain is primed and ready for an affirmation you feel it in your whole body like let's go I this is who I am this is what I'm here for um I love these comments Carla says so good Megan says I feel lighter Donna's laughing with you <laughs> ladies are you feeling anyone who's watching um are you feeling it shift so for this last round this is fun this is where we get into affirmations these are things like, I'm ready to rise up. I'm ready to use my voice. What, Laura, what are you ready for? Oh, I'm ready to rise up. You nailed it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So if you're at a one, if you're between a three and a one with Laura, then we're going to just go right to the top of the head because we don't have any resistance. So we're just going to go right to the top of the head and tap and say, um, I feel ready to rise up. I feel ready to rise up. Eyebrow point. I feel ready to use my voice. I feel ready to use my voice. Side of the eye. I choose to release any remaining fear now. I choose to release any remaining fear now. Underneath the eye. This fear of being judged for speaking my truth. This fear of being judged for speaking my truth. Underneath the nose. It's getting smaller and smaller. It's getting smaller and smaller. Underneath the mouth, it's feeling less and less powerful. It's feeling less and less powerful. Color bone point, and I am feeling more and more powerful. And I am feeling more and more powerful. Underneath the arms, I choose now to stand in my truth. I choose now to stand in my truth. Underneath the chest, I choose now to rise up and use my voice. I choose now to rise up and use my voice. Tapping on the wrist, I choose now to be unapologetic. I choose now to be unapologetic. Top of the head, about what I want for the world. About what I want for the world. Eyebrow point, about what I want for me. About what I want for me. Side of the eye, and for the people I love. And for the people I love. All right, you can take a nice deep breath. So. Check back in on your body, this fear of judgment for speaking your truth. How high is it now? I don't even know. I can't even find it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. She left. She's gone. Yeah. yeah. No longer here. Wow. No longer here. Yeah. That's powerful to witness. And I want to acknowledge that everyone's going to be at a different stage. Um, so if you still feel some fear around speaking up and using your voice, that's okay. That might be linked to, like I mentioned, a specific memory or moment in your life where you've tried to use your voice before and you were shut down. Or I think women, especially as little girls, were taught to be nice and don't ruffle feathers. But um, you have the ability to move through that with tapping. And thank you, Laura, for being vulnerable and sharing this today and 
bringing this energy because it's, it's really, really powerful. Well, and I think what's, um, first of all, thank you, Jackie. I mean, this is the gift of tapping, but it's also the gift of your tapping, you know, and I think what's cool about this is that um, anyone can jump into this experience and have it be specific to you. Cause I know in your four day training, and by the way, it's free. So I'm going to, you can go ahead and go into my stories. There is a direct link. You'll also find it in my Instagram bio. Jackie is doing a free training for the EFT on January 24th to 27th. I really encourage you to do it because we can take the specifics of what's specific to you. So I'm here high vibing in this experience for me, but what you're tapping about will be specific to you. So that's what's so cool about it, correct? Oh, it's that's the you hit the nail on the head. I always say um, the secret to success in tapping is in the specifics. So your wording, your life experience, that's the that's the key. So please join us. Come. It's going to be lots of fun. They'll be um, educational and experimental. Like you're going to have more tapping experiences with me. I'm also going to create um, some tapping scripts that you can take and use on your own. And yeah, I really appreciate the the share today, Laura. Thank you. Yeah. Been super fun. And that's the point of it. Um, and yeah, so I will see you on the 24th and I'll be sharing this, share this with whoever, you know, needs to have this resource at their fingertips literally this is life-changing it's needed it's needed more than we even know all right thanks everyone see you then all right talk to you soon bye everyone